I'm Jesus, and this is the key that keeps going down on me. Now, I have resisted the urge to show the public this whole disgusting spectacle for quite some time, but I think it's really reached the point where everybody needs to take a good hard look at it. I mean, just see it for yourself. As you can see, at the start of the year, the keys were about $2.70. Now that's pretty much normal for a key retailing on the Steam community market, but as you can see, over the course of the year, it's kind of gone through a catastrophic collapse. In fact, it's barely worth more than $1 now. And that's a lot of its value. That's about 60% of the value gone, actually. And that is kind of unusual, because the whole point of keys is that their value is supposed to be stable. So we're going to take a look at what's gone wrong here. Now, this is obviously the key for the Hydra case, you know, the case that's gone up in value massively over the course of the year and is now worth more than any other case since really the, the very beginning of CSGO skins is worth. And at this point, for some people, it's probably very obvious why this key is going down in price, but for another group of people, I'm imagining it's really confusing. So I'm going to briefly explain what's going on here. Basically, there's always a certain number of keys just in general circulation on the Steam community market. For example, there's about 1.5 thousand Spectrum 1 case keys being sold every day. Most of the activity here would just be traders selling items back and forth, but there'd also be a group of people who are buying these keys to open cases with, probably because with your exchange rate, it's cheaper to buy the keys on the Steam community market rather than in-game. Now, this outflow of keys is balanced by an inflow from people who are buying keys in-game and selling them on the Steam community market. There's two main reasons for this, either they're buying them in-game for trading, because that's the cheapest way to buy them in their region, or they're trying to make a small amount of money due to having a beneficial exchange rate. So this info and outflow normally would balance out and keep the price steady. And the mess we see here with Hydra key prices is actually fairly simple. Something has caused people to stop buying them to open up cases. And I can't prove what's caused this, but I think it may have something to do with the fact that the Hydra case was unexpectedly discontinued, causing its price to, well, rocket. And rocket, for that matter, to the point where even if you got the Hydra case key for free, buying the Hydra case on its own is still more expensive than buying a full price key to open your, your typical three cent case. So as a result, we've ended up with a glut of Hydra case keys on the market. No matter how cheap they are, it's still more expensive to open up a Hydra case, so people aren't buying them to open up cases with. So if you're holding onto some, and no one wants to buy them and you want to get rid of them, well, the only option is to discount them. But if everyone's trying to discount them, well, the price is just going to keep on falling like this. Now, the interesting thing here is that this isn't necessarily unprecedented. We've actually had undervalued keys before. Once upon a time, it was the revolver case. People wouldn't accept the revolver case key in trades, for example. And if you go back even further in time, instead of the revolver case, it was the esports and vanilla case keys. There's clearly been collapses in market confidence around certain keys before, but we've also gotten past that. The keys have recovered. If you look at either of these keys today, they're both worth the same as any other key. And that may make you think, is it possible that the Hydra case key would recover as well? I mean, even if they didn't recover all the way, even if they recovered only to like $2 or something, if you bought some now, you'd basically be doubling your money. But as it happens, I think there's something uniquely catastrophic about what's happened here with the Hydra case keys, and I don't think they're going to be recovering anytime soon. And I'm going to explain why I think it really is this bad. First of all, if you just look at the price histories of these other keys, you can see that they didn't really have a price collapse that could be compared to the Hydra case key. They may have been undervalued relative to other keys, but they haven't entered into free for either. In the long run, it looks like they've been fairly stable. And there's an additional reason why I think the Hydra case isn't really in a position where it can ever recover from this. And it actually comes down to one of the fundamental characteristics of keys and how they get their value. Basically, even though Valve fixes the price of keys at $2.50 US, the only reason they have value is that you can open a case with them. If you take that away, the key instantly becomes worthless. So, for instance, if you had more of a certain sort of key floating around than you had cases for that key, it'd be pretty bad for the value of that key because it's more or less guaranteed that a certain portion of those keys are going to end up being completely worthless. And this is exactly where I think the Hydra case key has come unstuck. For example, there's only about 
500 revolver case keys listed on the community market, but there's over 230,000 revolver cases. So you're not going to run out of cases to open with these anytime soon. And if we look at the eSports keys, there's only about 70 of them listed on the market. But if we look at the number of 2014 summer eSports cases, well, it's over 9,000. But if we do this for the Hydra case key, well, there's about 6,700 of them listed on the Steam market. But in terms of Hydra cases, there's only about 4,200. Now, there's probably quite a lot of unlisted Hydra cases, probably more so than there are unlisted Hydra case keys, but either way, there's a very real possibility that there's more Hydra case keys out there than there are Hydra cases. And if that's the case, well, the Hydra case key price isn't really likely to recover. It, to put it in simple terms, it's kind of fucked. Now, granted, in the very long term, because there's going to be a small but steady supply of rare drops of Hydra cases entering into the market, this may ultimately correct it, but it's going to be a very, very long term fix. I definitely would not recommend buying any of these keys. So anyway, that's the Hydra case key mess. I, I really hope nobody listening has been holding onto any because, I mean, that price curve, oof. That's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus, thanks for watching, see ya.